Hey, everybody. I hope everybody's having a great day so far. Um, I just want to get on and uh, just encourage everyone and uh, let you guys know that God loves you guys. He, he, You may be wondering why certain things aren't happening in your life or why God is allowing certain things to happen in your life. Everything happens for a reason. God has a plan for our lives, and there's a season. There's a time and a there's a time for everything and a season for everything. But we have to understand and trust that our Heavenly Father will be there for us. He will always be there for every, those individuals who trust in Him, who fear Him, who live for Him. There may be down times in your life. There may be down times in your life where you may be feeling and you may be wondering when are you going to be when when are you going to be able to receive that um, that blessing? Maybe you need a financial miracle. For your bills to be paid. Maybe you need some sort of looking for a new job, a career job in your in your career path. Where you went to school, maybe you went to school for IT. Maybe you went to school for nursing. Maybe you went to school for um, sport management. Maybe you went to school for um, for pre-law. And you'd be looking for a job in your career. Do your part, apply, and wait on God. Trust him. Maybe there may be a situation where you're maybe where you're single, and you're waiting for God to send you that right person. Maybe you're not ready, or maybe the other person's not ready. Maybe there's maybe a situation where you both aren't ready. Maybe there's some things that God is working inside of you to prepare you for that significant other. Maybe. You ain't meet here tomorrow. Maybe you may meet here today. Maybe you may meet here at the grocery store. Maybe you may meet him at the grocery store. Trust his plan. Stay positive. Count it all joy. And understand and know that God loves you. God loves you. We have to remain patient and know that he loves us and have our back. No matter how tough it may be. No matter how difficult it may be. Because it can be tough. But patience is so important. Patience is so very important. It's a virtue. Patience is a virtue. It's very it can be very difficult. It's, in this life, in this world, we want things so quickly. Everything is so everything is so right now, right now, right now, right now. When we're waiting for a YouTube video to buffer. We start to get impatient because we want to go ahead and see the video. This instant grits, instant mashed potatoes, instant white, it's instant rice. We want things instantly. Or if we're waiting in line at a stoplight, we want to hurry up because we have to go to get to work instead of leaving early so we can get to work on time. Be patient still and know that he is God. Be still and know that God is God. He will be there for you. Trust him. It, it may be difficult, but trust him. God may be having you, may have, you may be going through a certain thing. God may be allowing you to go through a certain thing to teach you some things, to help you to grow, to help you to be the best that you can be, to prepare you for what God has next in your life he may be protecting you he may have allowed you to have a breakup in your in your uh, in your date in your in your relationship with a man or a woman because he's looking out for you it may be difficult instantly right away it may be difficult it may be difficult But God knows what he's doing and why he does it. Because he knows the end from the beginning. If you were to stay with that man, if you were to stay for the, for the ladies and for the guys, if you were to stay with that girl, what if you stay with that person? And let's say, for example, maybe you stay with that man and God can see maybe down the road that he may be beating, he may be beating on you. He may be beat, he may be beating on you down the line. And you may not see it right now. 
or she may be cheating on you and you may not be able to see it right now. Spiritually, you, may, you both may not be with one accord and you may not see it right now. God can see from the beginning. He can see to the end from the beginning. Trust his plan and know why God, understand that God got your back. It may not be, it may not, it may not be, it may be hard. It is hard, but we got Jesus Christ and we can walk in joy, walk in peace, walk in love, walk in patience, knowing that God knows what's best for us, when it's best for us, why it's best for us and how it is best for us. Think about it. Look at, look at Exodus chapter, uh, look at Exodus chapter 13. When God was taking the Egypt, uh, the Israelites out of Egypt, when He rescued them from Pharaoh and the Egyptians, on their way to the Promised Land, He could have easily taken them to the shortest route. But you know what? He would have had to go through the Philistine territory and deal with the Philistines and end up fighting the Philistines. The Israelites would have had to fight the Philistines. But you know what? God knew that, that they were not ready. And they, and if they end up having to fight the Philistines, you know what, 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 what would have probably happened? They probably would have turned around, given up, and went back to Egypt. God knows what he's doing. So what happened is he, he, made a, he, he went on a detour. He went on a detour. To avoid that from happening. To save them from themselves. If they would have went back to Egypt, they would have went through worse than what they went through before. God knows what he's doing. We have to trust his plan. We have to trust his plan. A lot of times God wants to save us from ourselves. But a lot of times we're so ready to have what we want. To the point where we're impatient. And we end up doing something that we regret. Sarah wanted a baby in the Bible. Sarah wanted a baby so bad that she was so impatient that she allowed her own husband to sleep with her maidservant, Hagar. And then next you know you have to deal with the consequences. When we're impatient, we have to deal with the consequences. Trust God. Trust God and know that he is God. And in due time, once we are patient and we will receive the blessings that God has for us in his time and we will be happy that we waited. There's a reason for everything. God has a plan for all of us and he knows why he does things. Jeremiah 29 11 says, for I know the plans that I have for you. They're plans for good, not of evil, to give you a future and a hope and a hope. He wants to give us a future and a hope. But don't stop yourself from the blessing that he has for you because of our impatience. Don't look on, stop looking on Facebook. Stop looking at what other people are doing on Facebook. Stop looking at other people's marriages on Facebook just because people are happy. So a lot of times, some of these people probably are not happy and probably putting up a front on Facebook to show that they're happy. I'm not saying that's the case all the time, but I'm just saying, stop comparing yourselves to other people. We are all different and we all are in different seasons of our lives. Other people may be ready and we may not. But we have to trust his plan and know that God knows what's best for us. When it is best for us, how it is best for us, and why it is best for us. When we do that, we will be able to receive everything that he has for us and be happy and joyful in the process. Be joyful and happy. Enjoy the life that God has given you. Enjoy the life that God has given you his way. Smile. Smile. Encourage yourself. Encourage each other. And know that he is God. God love you, God. God loves you. God loves you. Trust his plan. Be blessed, everyone. Have a blessed one.